Compton, California, one of the most dangerous places to grow up in America. Living in the area in the early 1970s, Ken Landro used baseball as a way out then, but the sport has drawn him back to his community now. Landro is currently a staff member for the Urban Youth Academy and also manages the Academy Barons, a team in the California Summer Collegiate League. Growing up here in Compton, uh, yeah. I thought it was an excellent idea and baseball was so, it was just so lucrative here. I thought that was a, a brilliant idea to try to get back in there and uh, you know, give back to the community. Landro was not on Arizona State's radar coming out of high school. However, immediately after winning the CIF championship with Dominguez, he was offered a scholarship to play for the Sun Devils that night. After college, he spent a decade in the major leagues winning a World Series title in 1981 with the Los Angeles Dodgers. So that's why you know, I tell these kids, you never know who's in the stands or who's watching. It doesn't matter where you play ball or where you're from. But if you put the time and the work and the effort into it, there is a chance you know, that something good can happen out of it. Keeping his players grounded is just one of the many tasks that Landro has responsibilities for. For the Barons, we pretty much uh, set this program up you know, yes, for our local kids that are going to college. A lot of times I've, I have junior college players that's locally that we will step up to that, to that level. And a lot of kids from the junior college level that do play on the Barons end up uh, getting scholarships to four-year schools. The academy has shown some recent success at the next level as former Barons standout Dylan Tate of Claremont, a suburb of LA, was drafted number five overall in the 2015 MLB draft by the Texas Rangers. He was the type of guy where you can see that burning competition inside of him. Being a part of the kid chasing the vision, chasing the dream and, and, you know, and, and helping them, it was really, really gratifying this year to finally see a, uh, a first round pick. All right, hot spot. The roads that these kids are going through, I know I've experienced myself. And for the most part, when I speak to these kids, no, no, no. it's turn, all turn from experience. Way. If this goes first, where, where does that put your hands? You teach them how to play baseball, but it all boils down to their intensity level and how bad they there want it go. and how good they want to be. Under Landro's leadership, the Urban Youth Academy Barons players are likely to learn as much about life as they do about baseball. At the Urban Youth Academy in Compton, I'm Johnny Soto for Cronkite News.